Hi, my name's Caitlin Martini and I've been attending Nambal Christian Church for nearly four years now. God has done an absolutely incredible thing in my life. He saved me from the old person that, that I was. He's given me worth and shown me who, who I am and how He sees me. It hasn't always been this way. I was a very broken young girl. Um, I suffered with a lot of eating disorders, bulimia, anorexia, body dysphoria. For me, um, I struggled with self-harm, self-mutilation. Um, I struggled with addiction to alcohol, addiction to drugs, addiction to anything. And I was really promiscuous as a young woman as, as well. Um, I, I wouldn't be who I am today without Jesus in my life. And I knew of him when I was younger, but I didn't know what it was to have a relationship with him. I saw Christianity as more of a religion and I didn't want anything to do with it. I didn't want to do anything with a God that was trying to change me or make me follow a religion. And that's how I saw it. As I journeyed, I wanted to have the morals of what a Christian was, but I didn't want to live out the life that I thought I needed to. And so because I wavered in my mindset so much, I ended up going so deep into this lifestyle that I can't even express to you um, the thoughts and the way that I used to feel. I was constantly anxious. I was depressed all the time. I needed to take drugs and, and, and drink to actually feel something. Um, you know, and once I realized that I literally couldn't do this life without God because where my thoughts were leading me was I would have committed suicide. I was going to commit suicide. As soon as I gave God my life and, and actually said, okay, I'll do it your way, the way that I believe that you're asking me to do it, it's like a light bulb switched in, in my head. And I completely did a 180 and I started going the, the other way. I turned around and and I started walking this path of trusting God, of encountering His grace, of encountering who He is and, and that He loves me just as I am, that I can come to Him just as I am. And every single time I'd fall at the start of my journey and still do, I get back up and Jesus is always there to hold my hand because it's not about a religion. It wasn't about being, being perfect. But that's why I need Jesus because I can't be perfect. And so three and a bit years ago, four years ago, I wouldn't see myself living right now in an apartment with an amazing roommate. I, I wouldn't see myself having a job that I've held for over three years, owning a car, paying phone, phone bills, being financially stable, having the relationships that I do with my mom and my dad and my, my siblings, having relationships that uh, I'd broken through so many actions of mine actually brought together because they see the fruit of what God's done in my life life. They see who I was without Jesus and they see who I am with him. And they see that he really does do an incredible work in your life. And I needed to understand that it wasn't about being religious, but it was about having a day-to-day -day relationship with the creator of the universe. And all I had to do was say, okay, I'll give it a go, God. Um, so yeah, that's it.